Welcome back, guys, to Seek the Beast on the Minecraft Feed the Beast server. We are back in the secret laboratory base, and I've made everything pitch black and sparkly. No, I haven't really. We're just down by the bedrock. Let's see, can I pick up this torch without switching out of third-person view with no HUD? Maybe not. I'll <laughs> come back for it later. We are back at the secret base. We're gonna do a little building. We're gonna rise up slowly and ominously like a super villain ascending from the depths. And ready? Um, how about on the way up? Let's have a cinematic cyclone. Ready? Three, two, one. Cinematic cyclone! Okay. I, uh, I apologize if I just gave anyone a seizure for that. I probably should have had a warning. Warning! Flashing lights and uh, <laughs> quickly moving images. People who are seizure prone, please look away. That w would have been nice to have that beforehand. Uh, okay, now that I did that. Hyperspeed! <laughs> look at this, sensitivity. Hyperspeed. Uh, okay, let's put this back to 49. Okay. Muy bien. So today, what I want to do, um, we're going to finish, well, what I'd like to do, I want to move all this stuff here and update the look here. Whoa, buddy. And then we're going to add some stuff down here. You can see that the lava tanks are almost totally full. We have two left to fill. This one is started. Look at the, the little graphical thing that happens here. Look, we have lava. No lava. Lava. No lava. Lava. Hmm. It's like playing, playing hide and seek with a three-year-old. Okay, so we have two more to fill, and last time, uh, Generic B gave me some a fiendish queen and an apiary, and he started asking me some very sensitive questions. Questions like, uh, hey, hey, uh, you know, um, just sort of, uh, what's, what's, uh, what's the biome you live in? Because we might need to know it for the fiendish queen. And I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure I should give you that information. He's like, oh, don't worry. I'm not going to come find you. No, seriously, what kind of biome? And it occurred to me that if I set up this apiary and this bee... Huh? Attempting to leave these rails without first slowing down. Oh. Um, if I set up this bee and this apiary in this base, it's going to help people track me down. And I just can't have that because the bee... Uh, this fiendish bee will work in certain biomes and will not work in others. So if I put this bee down and it's able to produce uh, phosphor and simmering cones, then generic bee, in his, all his innocence, will be able to tick off, okay, so Zisto the beast is not in this biome or this biome. People will start to be able to narrow me down, and I'm not quite ready to be giving hints. Maybe once I start wrecking havoc on the server after I finish the nether hub, Maybe then I'll leave some hints, but not now. You know, you know what? Maybe he's after my lava. He gave me this fiendish, it was a trick. He wants my lava. He can't have it. Ah, we, we foiled him. I knew his game. Um, so no, we won't be setting him up the fiendish queen here. I think what I'm going to do, because he said this works in the nether. You know what? Let me take these boots off because they're making me look like a spaz. Um, <laughs> and it's sort of, uh, it's highlighting, or it's emphasizing the, the, the sort of junky, lava junky <laughs> game I'm playing here. Anyway, um, so I think what we'll do next time when I do an episode on the nether hub, I'm gonna set this up in the nether, close to the hub with a chunk loader to keep it loaded. So that this bee can happily make simmering combs all day long um, and I won't have to worry about it uh, giving away my position because it's going to be in the nether at the uh, the spawn. Anyway, so what I'd like to do, I want to get rid of all these guys. Um, I decided that this platform is going to be general storage for things you can't really... Uh, you can't really divide up that don't come from a quarry. All this stuff is going to be quarry, or it is quarry, and it's going to be moved. What I'd like to put on this side is a bunch of project tables um, with some item frames over what they have, kind of like we did before, where I had the I had like this um, the uh, the project table with this little 
item frame on it is going to have like redstone circuits or red power circuits, that kind of thing. So I'm going to set up some project tables on this side for general crafting and it's going to hold a decent amount of storage on their own. And then we're going to move these guys. I decided that since this is like general storage and then down here is bulk storage and this is Thomcraft because Thomcraft is quite a bit different from any other crafting system in the game. Um, I think down here we're going to put the metals, the ores, and the gems. And all that stuff is gonna, that comes from quarries. Um, so we've got a lot of different types of metals that I've begun sort of... I've, I've tried to simplify them into the fewest number of categories we could. So we've got useless crap. Um, that I get a lot of appetite and these quartz crystals. May find a, a use for them later, but not right now. Then we've got all the gems. There are nine categories because we're going to be using industrial craft pipes. And there's only, um, you can only have nine things in each, each different sorting slot here for each color. You can only have nine. So we're, uh, we're categorizing in nines, in groups of nine. And I decided to use industrial craft. I know a lot of people are going to suggest, hey, why don't you just use uh, red power pipes? Because they're a lot more efficient and smarter. And I did use them here. This is, the, uh, this is red power stuff, all this. Um, but I don't want to use them for my general item sorting and like item delivery. Because in order to have a proper like mad scientist laboratory, you need a little bit of chaos, and so the industrial craft pipes are a lot more chaotic. I just want pipes just running everywhere doing crazy stuff. And when I need to do more intelligent automation, like um, pulling specific items from boxes and things like that, I'll, I'll use uh, red power just like I did down here. Um, so, uh, we we'll have one box with the crystals. I'm probably just gonna move the crystals down here for now. Um, this, I still don't know exactly how I'm going to design this one because I haven't finished the Thomcraft um, Thomonomicon research and we're going to return to that towards the end of this video. So anyway, uh, useless crap, gems. The gems are going down there. The useless crap probably is too. These are going to Thomcraft. Uh, the Zycorium stuff, the Zycraft is going down there. I'm going to have uh, automatic crafting tables, turning them into blocks. Um, that should be neat. I have a lot, a lot of crazy pipes going everywhere, doing crazy things. Then we're gonna have uh, one for my blocks, which is gonna be linked up to a compressor, and is also going to take aluminum ore, although it's not gonna come in this form. The aluminum ore is gonna go from the quarry, because uh, eventually, we're going to clear out all of this, everything, and s until we're basically sitting in a huge void, as big of a void as I can make. Um, so this is going to get uh, sent to a smelter and then an auto crafting table to turn it into blocks. And so all my blocks and maybe some saws here and there will be in a box like this. This is a, a dust, a, a dust box. Um, I don't think I really get any of this stuff from quarries, but I'll probably group it with the other stuff because it's sort of thematic. Then there's nine types of ores that I don't have a use for right now. Uh, radium, uranium, monazite, etc, etc. If I eventually go back to industrial craft, I may have a use for them, but not right now. And this is kind of the odd man out, crude oil. I, I don't have a big use for him. But probably the biggest decision I have to make is the metal. Uh, the metal ingots that I'm actively using. So I need um, copper, tin, iron, silver, gold, bronze, brass, and miscellaneous. And I think I'm thinking they'll each get a box, or maybe I don't really want to use a barrel. Maybe for the metals I'll use barrels. Um, plus, it's graphically simple because you can see what the item. Do I have any barrels in here? Um, another thing idea I have for barrels for a different platform to make later is I need a way to in, to store enchantments because look at this so this is a, a diamond chest full of enchanted books this guy's full 
and then I've got even more overflow into here. So one thing I want to check, let's find two of the same. Let's find two Feather Falling 4s. Maybe I'll find a Power 3 first because those are common. But look at all of these books and their they're um, crowding up my boxes. I don't want them here. I'd like to maybe eventually have a specific place for them because I, I end up enchanting all these books trying to get one specific thing and I end up enchanting like a whole stack. I died the other day coming back here. Power three. Yeah, I knew I'd get more power threes. Okay. I died uh, the other day coming back and lost all my armor and my uh, my Thaumcraft boots uh, that I had just finished enchanting. Haste 3, Repair 1, or Protection 4, Feather Falling 4. These are the ones I remade. And I actually, just to prevent myself losing gear again, I made a duplicate set so I could re recover faster. That one doesn't have as good of a chance. Um, but I had to remake this, and this, and this, and this. Oops, no, no, give me that back. Um, what I want to see... All right, so those will hold multiples of one enchant, but it won't take this, because that's a different enchant. Yeah, two enchanted book, but it won't show it. So I'll probably put a sign uh, with the enchantment type, like I'd put uh, power three here, or maybe above it. So we may have a whole area to store books. I had to remake my dumb um, drill as well. But I've got so many books now that recovering isn't so bad. Anyway, okay, so uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera getting the basic layout going down here because it's going to be a little bit complex. i got to figure out the how it's going to work. And then we'll resume recording. Okay, quick little update. thought I'd update you for the first little uh, brief sketch I did to get uh, start to work on the organization of this thing. So... The, the ingots, I decided to split up, and I think I will use barrels for the ingots. Because um, there's just going to be one ingot in each one. So, for instance, all these guys are going to be the, the common ingots I use a lot. So, probably copper, tin, iron, silver, gold, and then bronze on one side and brass on the other. Because they're kind of exactly the same. They're just used by two different mods. So, ingots there. Um, those are the ones I use the most. There's, of course... There's about a zillion ingots in the game. Uh, look at all these crazy things. Uh, I don't really use steel too much. Um, dark iron ore, iridium, lead, blah, 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 zinc, whatever. All that stuff needs to go in an overflow miscellaneous ingot chest, which I don't have room for here. I'm going to have to think about that. But anyway, anyway um, so then we've got three on either side. So this might be uh, metal blocks. Xycraft blocks, and then the ores that I don't use. And then on this side, uh, gems, dust, and uh, what am I missing? Um, oh, oh, that's right, appetite and uh, the quartz crystals. So that's a, that's a basic setup. I need to work on this a little bit more. It needs a little, <laughs> a little refining. And draft number two. Uh, I decided I, I wanted to try to make it a little more compact, didn't want to waste space, so I wrapped the categories around the side of the platform, similar to that and that, and uh, I decided to be consistent. They should all be two blocks away from the platform, like this guy and this guy. Um, so ignore this. This is um, going to be edited. But the overall spacing is okay. I decided also that... Maybe we don't need seven categories of iron ingots because brass and bronze are both combinations of copper and tin. So maybe um, we'll take uh, brass and bronze out of here so we only have the five common default iron, or not iron, but metal ingots. And then let's say I need some brass or some bronze up here at the project tables because I'm low on those. Maybe I'll have a switch up here that will pull the required uh, bronze and tin and make whichever one I need and then pipe it up here. So um, that'll give me another excuse to put extra... Would you stop flicking on and off? That is so distracting. You see these guys? That is so interrupting my flow. <laughs> uh, but it'll give me more excuses to put piping going all over the place. 
Uh, so I think this is uh, the way we're gonna do it, kind of like this. And there she blows! Draft number three. I think that's about right. I decided on balance that probably the best thing to do is to categorize things, to divide things between here and here. Everything down here, and also this platform, is stuff that's going to be coming directly from the quarry. All the stone, dirt, gravel, flint, redstone, uh, nickelite, or whatever that blue stuff, the redstone, the blue redstone from red power, whatever that's called. Nickelite, I think? Whatever. Um, then the metal ores, which are going to be smelted here. I'm going to move this guy, or a, a version of him, going to be a little different, but I'm going to move him down here. And so uh, the ores of these five, here, let's go ahead and jump down here. Um, the ores, those five basic ores coming in, are going to be uh, routed into a smelting system right behind here, and then into these barrels. And then, whoa, jibber shiver rubber. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I think, um, actually, I need one here going up to there. I think we may need to go both ways. I'm gonna hold off on that, though, because we're gonna need more platforms eventually. Or maybe we just won't do any more platforms, but everything else will we'll have to work, or we'll have to walk on pipes <laughs> going all over the place. Uh, that might be fun. Um, anyway, okay, so basic metals. And then um, useful, pretty, lovely, gorgeous gems. And we've got the Zycraft. And I'm going to be using auto crafting tables. Haven't set that up. Going to do that soon. Um, to push all of the Zycorium into Zycorium blocks. So that this just has Zycorium blocks. Otherwise, this block, this, <laughs> this box, bleh, this block box, this block box, box, box. This chest will overflow real quickly if you don't do that. And then here we've got the crappy gems that uh, nobody loves, that I don't like. Quartz crystal, appetite. I may have a use for these someday, but I don't right now. Um, okay, and then over on this side we've got the ores. I'm not currently using nine types. And then the uh, the red-headed stepchild crude oil, <laughs> who's over here by himself. And then I have an extra one. Um, this may be the overflow section. So if all of this and all of this stop flashing on and off lava, that is so distracting. It totally cuts off my flow. Stop it! <laughs> um, I need an overflow section for items that don't fit any of these categories. A lot of the stuff like from this uh, mine shaft, like the wood and the fences and the stuff like that, that kind of stuff needs to go in an overflow. Bees end up in there. Uh, random mob drops that the laser picks up. Um, so now this area is cleared out, and we're gonna—I'm gonna put in some project tables. And let's see. So uh, I decided that this stuff should be rolled into general storage up here because we don't get it from a quarry. Uh, same thing with this. This is gonna be in one of the project tables, the metal blocks, and I'll have a—I'll have some saws in there, so that you know what I'm really bad at. I'm really bad at doing this, and I'm gonna derp 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 sub blocks, and then doing that and losing my saws. I've lost—I don't even know how many saws. Uh, doing that, and then we've also got the leftover metal ingots, which will go into project tables as well. Okay, so um, these are going to be two blocks away, and then if we're going to have two of them, uh, two high, two columns, or two rows, two rows, lots of columns. So I think about that level is right. Those two, yeah. Okay, like that. Um, Actually, give me that. We're gonna go just like that. Okay, that'll be the start of it. And then I think I have a bunch. Here's here's some to get us going. I may end up needing more than this. Do that. Hop over. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of these, but uh, I can do that a little later. This will at least get the idea down. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many I'm gonna want. We may just start with a certain number and then expand as the number of things I need to craft increases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, not symmetrical. Well, I guess it's symmetrical now. Actually, here's a fun fact. I very rarely uh, make something that's actually symmetrical. People think I make like I'm crazy about symmetrical stuff, 
Try and name one thing I've ever made that's symmetrical. Go ahead, try it. Okay, let's get this guy back. Let's put him here. Okay, uh, looks good. Let's see, one, two, three, four from this side, one, two, three from the side. Let's make two more of those. We, we need a project table, project table. How do we make project tables? I've only made them once or twice, so I don't actually remember the recipe. Planks, stone, box, crafting bench, okay. So let's see, we got one of these. Uh, crafting bench. Auto crafting, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, okay, then three stone, have there. And then, what was it, five wood, I think. Oh, we can't do that in the Feed the Beast yet. It's only in the snapshot of 1.5, uh, where you can drag it around like that. Oh, I guess we only, we only need four, I counted wrong. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I needed two. Darn. Okay. Um, quite quickly, let's do this again. Now we know how many we need. Okay, one, two, three. And one, two, three, four. It's kind of like a piston, if you think about it, with the two blocks in the middle. Oh no, it's backwards. It's inverted. And pistons are cobbles. Never mind, it's not at all like a piston. Not even remotely. Okay. We do that. And these guys, um, they are going to have item frames on front of them, identifying what they make. Because they don't really fit our color scheme, and I think it would just be madness. <laughs> it would be, oops, it would be too hard to see what we're doing without it. And I really like the look of it when I made them briefly up there like that in that style. I thought it looked pretty pretty darn neato. Uh, first of the undead. <laughs> Dark Cells reference. <laughs> um, yeah. So like that, and like, if you hold shift, it sometimes does funny things. It'll go on like, not the place where you're placing it. Not the place where you're placing it. Okay, so we can drop those. Oh, we can't access these anymore with those on top. Okay, let's pick these up for now. Uh-huh, and then drop this, 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 and we'll, I'm gonna organize all this stuff off camera. I just want to get the basic idea out on camera. Okay, let's get some item frames. Just like so, like so. Oh, look at that, uh, I'm gonna need to make some more. But yeah, that's basically the idea. And I may or may not feed items into the back um, with more pipes from different, different locations. Uh, we'll get to that one thing at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little work cleaning this up and setting a few of these up, just a few. And uh, maybe setting up a little bit of the piping down there. Okay, the basics of that have all been set up and all the uh, the quarry pipe has all been rerouted. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. First, um, I also set up the first few of the project tables and this is something we'll just, I'll just fill these out as we go along and along when I realize I need something. So the first one has crafting benches, um, assembly assembly table, why does it have that? No, uh, crafting table, auto crafting table, and project table, and any other kind of crafting table type things will probably go in here until we run out of room. This guy has chests, iron chests, gold chests, and diamond chests. And that's about all the room we have in here, um, there's not a whole, I would really like it if um, these things had a little bit more storage space. Maybe if you could upgrade them. Kind of like the same way you upgrade uh, chests. If you could upgrade to like a an iron project table. Maybe you can. <laughs> Let's look that up. Let's see what this do. No, I'm gonna say probably not. Yeah, not required for any um, for any recipes. Okay, and then the next one is barrels, extra dimension storage, upgrade, and ender chest. And that's all we have so far. I uh, have a lot of room to expand that. Um, okay, so let's head down here. Hooked up the sorting pipes 
Similar, t uh, similar design as I used here. I think it looks pretty neat. Looks kind of spidery. We're starting to get an overwhelming amount of pipes, which is good. Although there's nothing, there's still nothing like going from place to place yet. We'll get there. Um, so let's start. Let's start at the beginning. So the quarry is going to be sending items through this pipe down this lava. Stop it. Uh, quarry is going to be sending items down through this pipe. It's going to hit that. All of these guys are going to get sorted down to this platform, to the uh, the bulk storage, and then everything that didn't go that way is going to go this way, down here to this guy, and so those five ores are going to get diverted over here. Everything else is going to go down that way, and these guys go to a, uh, a simplified a little bit more compact version of what I had up there only has three because they have they all have overclocker upgrades and because it's it's just coming from the quarry um, I probably could make do with just one to be honest because um, it it uh, takes care of stuff fast enough um, anyway kind of energy line um, diamond cable coming off of my my main cable here to a low voltage transformer and then copper cable to power those guys and uh, use some red red power red wire whatever to make that a little bit more compact we actually we don't need this guy anymore and I haven't actually tested it whoa the gyms blew up haven't actually tested it but I assume it works everything looks fine um, so then uh, gold and copper go off that way and that way and then here we've got Ten silver and iron sent off that way. Um, so all those guys get sent off that way. Everything else comes down here, hits this guy. All the gems go down the green. All of the ores I'm not using go down the yellow. Everything not sorted yet goes to here. Then we've got Zycorium going over there. And those two guys going this way. I ended up putting uh, aluminum ore with the crude oil just so he'd have a little bit of company and I haven't set up the auto crafting tables for those yet I'll, I'll get around to that sooner or later and then finally we have the appetite and all the quart crystal versions which you actually can't see once you put them in here that's interesting you don't see the little oh, oh I missed you're not seeing the little colon uh, version colon two colon three uh, anyway anything else that that hasn't been sorted at that point comes into here probably gonna add some more boxes here because uh, end up with a lot of random stuff when you quarry out a 64 by 64 area and these little labels underneath here I think these are gonna be updated sooner or later I wonder if you could put the frames right there on that pipe that might be an idea and I'm gonna clad this guy in a similar style, the same kind of items here. And might put some uh, some of these light blue lamps here to make it bright enough. But all that should be functional. And next time I need to quarry, I'm I'm good to go. I'm set up to do it. Um, okay, so it's been a little while since I did any thomcraft. And let's do a little bit of thomcraft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit of thomcraft. The bats blew you up. Um, let's do a little bit of thumb craft. I need a bucket of water. Oh, actually, no, I don't, because I'm not actually making stuff. So let's grab the thumb and the numb and the kind of none from up here, right here. Let's see. We're gonna need anything else from here? Silver wood, maybe. Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna need anything up here. Let me get some of these leaves. Uh, if we do need items, I'm just gonna bounce back up here, down there to get stuff. Okay. Um, so there are things I'd like to do, sort of <laughs> some large, potentially game-breaking things I'd like to do. And we can't do them until I finish off the research because I need, I'm gonna need the golems for one thing to be farming me some stuff. Um, so I'm going to start doing more and more research off camera. Oops, that is my ender pouch, not my thumb and not my gun. So I'm going to start doing more off camera, um, and I'll continue to add a little bit of 
research to the end of the videos while I can, but probably only for the next one or two videos until I just finish everything. Anyway, so here we are. Did I click on that or not? Are we having lag? Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Um, the theory of everything. Having studied the classic elements, you now think it is time to broaden your study to the physical world. Hopefully by studying the concrete, you will gain insight into the ethereal. Okay, so uh, once I got to a certain point, dumping stuff into here, it actually told me what the last four are. So uh, let's do this. So we need the armor, the little bat guy, poison, and sonus. This guy, I don't... I haven't seen that guy too often. But first off, let's see, we need the bat. Spider Eye has the bat and the poison. Um, let's see, we need the armor. What has the armor? I know there's a leather. Does leather? Leather has the armor. Um, Sonus. These records have that guy, and they've got a lot of them, 12 of them, but I really don't want to use up a record which are very hard to replace with that. I wonder... I wonder if we make a note block. Aha! That's got four. And all... Wood, what the hell? A wood... Oh, okay, it's flicking around. Um, all it takes is planks and redstone, so that is dandy. Let's make some... Some laggy, let's make some note blocks. Let's see, do I have any random redstone sitting around? It was in the dust box. What did I do with the dust? Oh yeah, that's right, I dumped it in here. Okay. And I got rid of you. So we're gonna start using the project tables. Let's make 16 note blocks. Should, mm, probably enough. We'll make more if I have to. Why did you do that? Why did you only make 15? Okay, um, so what what did we need? Poison, uh, bats, armor, and note blocks. That, that may or may not be enough, but uh, we'll come back up here if it's not. Come on. Man, so laggy sometimes. Okay, let's start with these guys. Click, click, click. Oh, come on. Okay, there's the bat. Damn it! <laughs> Eighty-seven percent. I may have to farm some uh, some spiders or something. Okay, there's that one, and then the note blocks. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Oh, look at it. that is so pretty. We just need a little bit more venom. Ven venom. Let's see if I have anything else that fits that description. I kind of think not. I got a fire charge, I think, in a in a box in a dungeon somewhere. What is poisonous? Spider eyes obviously were, and I'm out. Um, zombie flesh? No. What about this canned meat? Uh, it doesn't have anything. Mm, plants. I may have to go look for some spiders. Nether wart doesn't have it. Okay, let's look in this miscellaneous block box. Let's see, soul sand, no. Um, this doesn't have it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go look for some stuff off camera and uh, we'll resume once I get some spider eyes. And I have four. Let's hope that is enough. I'd really, I don't wanna go spider hunting again. Did that finish? Ooh. Ooh. Hey, this, this theory of everything. I only needed the one. All right, give me those back. I might need those later. Look at that. That is... Oh, that's funny. You can't see it when you turn off the HUD. Um, having studied blah, 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 lots of little things. Look at all those icons with the 100% next to him. What do you... No, don't click on the table. Don't I need to... There. Okay, we're just having more lag issues. So, oh, look at this loveliness. So I'm wondering, uh, do we need to discover both of these to be able to get to this? Or can you get to it from either way? We also have that and that available. Let's see what the theory of everything is. Ooh, another star. Ooh, looks like I'm going to have to go um, 
Fight some withers. I need a portal gun anyway. Your understanding of the material and mystical worlds have grown considerably. And you now have a much greater grasp of how magic interacts. Okay, similar to the wand, uh, wand of the Thaumaturge. Similar to the wand of the Adept, except it is able to store much more of this. Much more larger, uh, allowing for larger and more complex feats of magic. It also recharges faster. How much does it hold? It takes 32. Um, this guy holds 250. Oh, we, oh, I see. Um, but it doesn't say how much it holds, but it holds more. Well, that's pretty awesome. Okay, uh, let's do... Yeah, see, this guy holds 250. Let's do one more. So let's put in... Let's see, if do you want, any, do you want some of this? you want some of this? This first thing I happen to have there. Okie dokie. Um, still obscured. Let's see if you want... Oh, there's four on there. Do you want that? No. Okay, let's use some crystals. No, no, no. Let's use some crystals, because they're the closest thing at hand, and I have a decent amount of them. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Okay, there we go. There's a something. 37... Whoop. Straw Golem Worker. 37% complete. Don't want that. Let's see. So if it's a golem, um, I know it likes the little hangman guy that is in, is it slime balls? Yeah, this, uh, that little hangman dude. Okay, we can probably do, let's do that much and then come back. Whoop, here. Okay, slime balls. Imperato, control, command, dominate. That's what you want. Okay, and then we need three more. You believe you have found a way to increase the perceptive abilities of golems and make their more aware of their surroundings. A good test of your theory would be a golem that can harvest plants and crops. Good, this is one of the things I'm gonna need. Okay, so you need three more. Let's head back up here. Let's grab soul sand. Because it has that little shackle. Like, we're gonna control this dude. He's gonna do our bidding. Um, it's gonna be straw. We already have the little leaf guy. Does um, I don't, don't think they're gonna want that little apple, but let's try it anyway. Let's see what else we got. Let's put other planty things. Let's just grab some planty things. Since he's made of straw. Um, okay, let's try those. Maybe uh, once we get one more, they'll tell us what the last two are. So I bet they want Winklum. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. I misjudged you. Oh, but you do want more planty stuff. Okay. Flow like the wind. Oh, a little lag. Okay, so you want permutatio and instrumentum. Okay, I know how to get those. Kind of have the hang of this by now. So, uh, what am I looking for here? Plants? No, not you. Um... Transfer is I know there's a plant that does that uh, We want we want gravel for all, all my gravels down there. Okay, we'll go get that in a second gravel has the little the little tool thing and then what was the other one? Uh, oh, yeah transfer we could use silver bars. I think there is a plant that does it better though. Here we go seeds And then right uh, here. No! Oh, there's one one major flaw in my system. It's very easy to lose things over the edge. Where are you? Where'd you go? I'm gonna have to work on that, I guess. Or I don't know. I don't. I'd rather have an a uh, an inefficient design and have it look cool than have it be efficient and not meet my visual criteria. Ah, whatever. It's just stupid gravel. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I was about to abandon it. Go get another one. Okay, we picked it up. We need to go over this way. Okay, gravel first. That's you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, 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 no. Just, just the seeds. 
There we go. Okay, that's done. Straw Gollum Worker. See how easy that was? Um, give me my seeds back. Sprink! Okay, and let's read the entry. It's probably gonna be similar. This must be clay. Normal stone, clay, and straw. Uh -huh. Smart versions of the straw golem can also instantly replant what they just harvested on the same block as well as any nearby blocks. All right. Eight animus, eight soul. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next time we will return and work on the nether hub as per our every other uh, type of thing deal. So I guess that's it for today. Oh, look, our base is 61.99 meters from here. You're going to be able to deduce where I am. Oh, no. So see you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.